The central city in the von Thunen model represents the center of the economic and government power. In addition, this model assumes that all the terrain is flat, the soils and environmental conditions are the same everywhere, and there are no barriers to transportation. Von Thunen's model started with the center. Nearest to the town, farmers produced perishable commodities and asked for high prices in products such as dairy and strawberries. A lot of effort went to the production of these goods due to the value of the land present in the city. The next ring in the Von Thunen model is the forest. In the forest are a lot of trees. With these trees, people make lumber, building material, and wood. Also, not many people live in this ring. The third ring in the Von Thunen model represents the one that contains crops such as wheat and grains. These crops are increasingly less perishable and bulkier, but the cost of transportation does impact the price of the good. This is the section where ranching occurs and livestock is grown. Fun fact, animals live in this section because they stink and people don't want to smell that bootiness. The wilderness is past the ranching and livestock, and it is the distance at which farming becomes unprofitable. This is because the transportation costs too much for the farming to be profitable.